So for today's Retro Bat setup guide, we're checking out 3D Zen. So for those who's not aware, 3D Zen is a very awesome Nintendo NES 3D emulator and Retro Bat version 6 allows us to play this through the Retro Bat front end. Uh, somebody the other day actually asked me about this one. I've investigated it and I've actually found out how to do this. So if you want some awesome 3D NES gameplay, like you can see right now, check this one out. <laughs> Before I start today's Retrobat version 6 and 3D Zen setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. It helps my channel out a great deal, plus, it gives you notifications every time I release an emulation guide. So, we're looking at 3D Zen today, and this is exclusive to Retrobat version 6. So you do need to update Retrobat Beta, or if you're still on version 5, you need to update it to the latest version 6, which came out around 4 or 5 days ago. I've done a full setup guide on that. So 3D Zen, uh, so this is an emulator, and we need to get this from an external source outside of Retrobat in order to work this. So 3D Zen is going to give us 3D games. And it supports a small library of NES games, and some of these looks really good. I actually did a standalone setup guide a few months ago on 3D Zen, and a complete library of the games that it supports. I'll leave the links in my description so you can check out the quality and the style of Nintendo NES games rendered in 3D. So let's get on with this. What we're going to do then is, first of all, you need to actually buy... A copy of 3D Zen and it's on offer as recording this video. It's actually £5.95 at the moment in the UK, and I'm guessing it's going to be around $5 in the States. Uh, just here, you'll find more information about it. But like I say, uh, I'll leave the links in my description so you can see from first hand from my channel what it's actually like in reality. But it is very good. But I'll leave that up to you to watch. So first thing we do need to do then is actually open up Retrobat. And once we're inside a Retrobat, what we're going to do is open up main menu and just scroll down to updates and downloads and we're going to go to content downloader and i'm going to just use my right d-pad just to go across and you need to download the 3d zen launchers pack volume one i've already installed this so the only option i've got here is to update it so install this and once that's been installed what we need to do next then is close down retrobat so main menu Next thing we need to do is actually take a look at the emulator content. So once you've downloaded this from Steam, you'll be able to get the contents and this is the contents I've got. So what we're going to do is go to the Retrobat directory. So right click on your Retrobat shortcut, open file location. And from here, what we're going to do is go to the emulators folder and right at the top, you're going to find 3D Zen. There's actually a file in here already. This is rom.json or json. Uh, leave that there. Don't delete it. What we're going to do is just drag the contents into that emulator 3D Zen folder inside of Retrobat. So that's now copied over. So what we're going to do next is actually take a look at the games. So I've got three games to show you here. And these games are actually supported. And what we're going to do is come out of the emulators folder within retrobat directory just go down to roms and we're not going to find 3d zen here or 3d nes it's actually listed here as nes 3d and here it is so we got nes 3d folder here and inside of here there's a 3d zen roms compatibility list you can open this with notepads like i've just done and it's going to tell you just here which games are compatible to run in 3D with 3D Zen Emulator. And like I said, there's quite a lot there. It's not every single NES game, but this is getting improved all the time. And it's even supporting several homebrew games just there, such as uh, Battle Kids, which is probably the most famous homebrew game for the NES. 
So that's where you're going to find out what's compatible also through Retrobat 2. And what we're going to do next is just drag those NES games inside. So you're also going to want to make sure that your regions are the same. So example, if I just open this back up again, you'll notice in brackets, you've got U, 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 J. So obviously J represents Japanese games and so on. So what we're going to do then is just drag the games inside of the ROMs NES 3D folder. And if we come back out, what we need to do next is actually go into the emulator outside of Retrobat, so the 3D Zen emulator, and we need to then link up those games. So once we boot the games through Retrobat, it's mixed up with 3D Zen and it knows what game you're running. But that's the best of my ability is how I've got this running. So we're going to open up 3D Zen. Okay, so once you open up 3D Zen for the first time, this is what it's going to look like. There's not much to it, but it does what it's supposed to do. If we go to the game tab, it's going to have the whole list there. So page one to seven of each game that 3D Zen supports. So the first game I've got is Arkanoid. What I'm going to do is just right click on that and it's going to take me to my ROMs folder. If you don't see this, then you're obviously going to need to find your Retrobat ROMs folder where you put your games. So I'm going to link Arkanoid up with the game just here. Open. So that's took us into the game. So we've linked Arkanoid up and the next game I'm going to link up is going to be Chippendale Rescue Ranger. So again, just right click or left and then right click and then just select the game so chip and Dale rescue rangers open and again if i come out of that and i'm pressing the b button on my google stadia controller and finally we have got another game to add so ducktales so we've got ducktales here and ducktales and just open this and let it load up Okie doke. So other things we've got inside of here, which we need to do outside of Retrobat is settings. So from settings, you've got all these different render modes and full screen modes. Uh, we also got things like TV modes. So have a play around of this inside of the emulator itself. I've also got the volume turned down, but you've actually got background music. Which admittedly is very quiet. So from here, we've also got the ability to map out our gamepad. So from keyboard, I'm going to go to gamepad and then we can map it out if you like. So pretty simple, straightforward stuff. But in terms of getting your games into 3D, then you're going to need to look at these settings just here. So everything now is set up inside of 3D Zen emulator. So if I boot back up Retrobat, You're now going to find Nintendo 3D and it's going to have a whole list of every game. But just remember, if you don't have the game, you're not going to be able to boot any of these up. So I've got Arkanoid, which I've just added, and I've also got Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which is an absolute classic. And I've also got Disney's DuckTales, again, another absolute classic. I'm going to start off with Arkanoid. If I open this, And what I've done once this game is booted up, I've just gone back into the settings, which we can still access whilst we've got open in Retrobat. And I've just made sure my Google Stadia controller is recognized. And here it is. So again, you can also map out your controller here to wherever you want whilst we're in the game.
So I'm playing that game the normal way you would play it, just like any NES game, and the way I'm making it go around in 3D to give it different perspectives from different angles, I'm using my right analog stick for that. So what we're going to do is just quit out. And I'm going to open up another game. So obviously I've got Chip and Dell. So as you can see, it looks pretty awesome, Chip and Dell. I think it does anyway. you also notice that I'm zooming in and out. And what I'm doing is pressing my left and right triggers uh, to do that. So left trigger is zoom in out and right trigger zooms in. So again, if I quit out, and this time I'm gonna just go into DuckTales Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's it for today's Retrobat and 3D Send setup, guys. Like I said near the start of the video, you do have to pay for this emulator. Um, but anyway, so I'll leave the link in my description so you can look at it yourself from Steam. And I'll also leave links in the description so you can see every single 3D Zen game in action. That's a video I uploaded a little while back. So you can get more of an idea of how each game performs with that emulator. But anyways, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like. Also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And I'm always asking for donations to improve my channel to help it expand bigger and better of what it is getting that way here's the way so anyways until next time stay retro <laughs>